he was the size of a chapstick. He looked like this weird little alien creature. So, Bell was found by a woman. What had happened was baby got scared off mom and was on her property. And I drove down and I picked up this baby. So he was really, really young. His eyes were still closed. First thought in my head was just mama bear instincts right from the beginning. So I knew that this little thing needed to be protected, he needed food, he needed warmth. So the first night, I was a few hours away from where I lived, so traveling with him was stressful. I had him in my shirt. When I got him home, I was scared that he was too dehydrated. So he was my first baby. I've got adults and I had taken care of adults, but nothing. Nothing as small as him. I was terrified because possums don't suckle. They have to be tube fed. When they're born, they're very, very tiny. My friend Brandy, who is also a rehabber, taught me how to tube feed. So when he was really, really little, he saw me as mom. And anytime he wasn't with me, he would call out for me. To use my body heat to keep him warm so he was constantly on me it was like having a newborn baby you get up and you check on it every five seconds to make sure it's still breathing every three hours feeding him for about a month and a half so then i would just put the formula in a little dish and he could do it himself he started walking really well he started using his tail and licking and climbing on everything. He's ready to go. He wants to explore things. He wants to discover stuff. He is very much an attention hog. To him, I'm mama and he wants to be with mama. He has always been really loving. Right now he's kind of going through sort of like a preteen. Like, I don't need you anymore until it's time for dinner. He went from looking like this weird little alien creature to growing his possum fur and looking like a possum. But then when I look back at pictures, I'm like, holy cow, that was only a month ago. I realized he wasn't going to be able to be releasable because at that point he was just too attached. He was too used to humans. He just, he has no fear at all. Everybody looks at them and sees their tail and thinks they're disgusting. But they're really clean and they're really gentle and even the adults they're so grateful for the help that they receive. They're gentle, they're nature, they're just gentle.